In this video, we will be discussing the roles and responsibilities for risk management as set out in the local government risk management framework. The framework identifies all of the key role players involved in the risk management process. And the perception is that risk management is the responsibility of the chief risk officer, which is not. The framework emphasizes that the enterprise risk management is exactly that. It is enterprise-wide. And in addition, it is not only enterprise-wide, but you see it include external parties to the conversation of risk management. Internally, the role players are the executive council who are responsible for the oversight of risk management. The accounting officer as the owner of the whole risk management process, management being the driver of the risk identification and risk assessment, and then the CROs as the facilitator of the risk management process. The risk champions guide and support the risk owners. Internal audit evaluates. But the key message here is that all personnel in the organization are responsible for risk management. For purposes of this video, we will only focus on key responsibilities of management, risk champions, and CROs. However, please feel free to go through the framework for an in-depth look at the responsibilities of other role players. Management essentially has a role to play in making sure that they identify the proper risks for the area and put together necessary controls. It is also important that management maintains a cooperative relationship with the risk management unit and they need to maintain the proper functioning of the control environment and monitor risk within the area of responsibility. They need to hold officials accountable for specific risk management responsibilities. Now coming to the risk champion. Firstly, the risk champion should not assume the role of the risk owner, but should assist the risk owner to report and manage the risks. The champion therefore plays a very important role in intervening and escalating instances where risk management efforts are being hampered. This also entails communicating the right message, driving this message to influence behavior and discipline, and getting the basics right. It is important for the risk champion to educate other officials and stakeholders of the importance of managing risks when dealing with public funds. Now, the chief risk officer is responsible for the risk management unit of function and is delegated to develop the vision for the risk management along with senior management. The chief risk officer develops and consults with management on the risk management policy, the strategy, the implementation plan, and also the risk identification and assessment methodology for the municipality. This work also includes a system management in setting the risk appetite and risk classification for the municipality as well. The chief risk officer must build effective infrastructure, policies, procedures, and processes for risk management and must communicate the risk management framework to all its stakeholders in the institution and monitor implementation. The CRO ensures that the Audit Committee, Risk Management Committee and Senior Management convene and must be appropriately appraised and trained on the current and emerging risk management concepts and principles. The CRO needs to facilitate the use of appropriate risk management methodologies, tools, and techniques, and needs to facilitate training for all stakeholders in the risk management functions. They must also assist with the identification, assessment, and development of response strategies and monitor the implementation thereof. Furthermore, reporting on the risk intelligence and monitoring on the risk profile and facilitating risk evaluation and monitoring of major risks, the CRO must also participate in the development and efforts of combined assurance in the organization and needs to oversee the risk management unit's participation and contribution in the combined assurance process. Lastly, they must continuously drive risk management to a higher levels of maturity. From these slides, 
you can really see that there's a lot of work placed on the CRO. But as mentioned earlier, it is not only the chief risk officer that is responsible for risk management. It is crucial that those roles become active in the municipality and really take risk management forward within the organization. The local government risk management framework is available on the National Treasury website and is also available to download on our PT website's assurance library. Be sure to go through it to learn and understand more on the roles and responsibilities of key role players. In the next video, we will be taking you through the risk identification and risk assessment process. Thank you.